Hey, this is my review of The Woman in the Dunes by Kobo Abe, which is a literary fiction book, and this is the first lit fic review on the channel. I read a lot of it, and I don't review it on the channel because it's harder to review. Sci-fi lends itself to these videos because it can be talked about without sounding vague and pretentious, I hope, for the most part. But something like this, I've been putting off doing the review, despite having read it twice now, because it's gonna be an uphill battle to say anything intelligent about it without sounding pompous uh, or sounding like we're in some kind of uh, English seminar in college, which made me want to uh, pull my teeth out with a wrench. Some background on Woman in the Dunes. It was written in the 70s. Let's see exactly when. It's first published 1964. So not in the 70s, in the 60s. It is about an entomologist who goes on vacation away from his job as some clerk, some functionary in the government. I, no, 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 he's a school teacher. He's a school teacher and he takes time off to go on a trip out to this remote village on the seashore where he intends to collect insects in the sand dunes. And his hope is that he'll um, discover a new species that he can lend his name to. And he gets kind of trapped there. He takes a bus out and misses the last bus back and he meets this old man who's following him around on his adventures around the sand dunes, who invites him to stay in this house that exists at the bottom of this deep pit dug into a sand dune where a woman lives. And he's put up for the night in this house and then learns the following day that he has been kidnapped, that he is now trapped in this pit, living in this house with this woman and is put to work with her shoveling sand that is constantly cascading down the edges of the hole, uh, threatening to bury the house, and is eroding the wood in the house and all of their belongings for moisture somehow, despite the fact that it's sand. And it's a story about him and the woman establishing some kind of relationship, his struggle to escape, and his uh, spiritual battle or internal emotional battle with his condition of captivity in this hole. Interestingly, I read this last year at some point because a friend of mine gave this to me. And I read it, and I read it too quickly. I blasted through it, which I'm used to doing with sci-fi because sci-fi, most sci-fi books you can get away with just, just reading through it, even the good stuff, not to impugn sci-fi too much, but I belong to a small reading club and this was selected as one of the reading selections. And upon going back through it again and discussion, intelligent discussion about it, I realized how much of it I had actually missed due to being a dumbass and also just being too fast of a reader. It was one of the biggest punches to the skull in terms of a reading experience that I've, I've had and kind of hit me right at the right time in life where I'm self-employed, I work as an eBay seller and uh, being self-employed is Borderline not a possible feat to pull off these days. It is an endless hamster wheel of constant labor and I feel like, um, not to be too much of a martyr, but I have these, these kind of Kafka flashes of uh, just feeling subjugated in life, of just being captive, being a, a slave to all of these obligations that pile up and there's a seemingly endless number of obligations that you have financially and legally. Uh, the, the amount of personal agency that you have over life and the amount of real, tangible, actionable freedom that you have as an individual is much more limited than kind of the cultural propaganda insists is the case and this captures that feeling and it says something fairly bleak about it, but something pretty adult and mature seeming. Um, it's, it's a novel about coming to terms with the fact that your life circumstances are completely out of your control, that you are, for all intents and purposes, a slave, that you are a captive to these systems and your obligation never ends, the sand never stops cascading and you have to come to terms with the fact that you are living a life as an individual who is undergoing constant, endless, uh, unremitting exploitation and immiseration. And thankfully my life is a relatively more comfortable iteration of, of that kind of an existence, but that's kind of where we find ourselves. And how do you, how do you respond 
to that set of circumstances? Do you caterwaul at the bottom of the pit? Do you raise all these alarms and throw tantrums, which is what the, the protagonist does? Or do you come to a place of acceptance where you say that this is simply my life now and I will make the best of it and I, I will not struggle against the bit that's been put in my mouth. This is a truly excellent, excellent novel. Um, it is technically speculative fiction. It can be categorized as such. I think it's, it's just much more kind of a straight piece of literature. And um, one that punches above its weight, to keep going with that metaphor. It's a, sh a small, slight book, but one that is... Um, it, it, it's like a frog with kind of an unlimited set of entrails that you can dissect. It's one of those books. It's like you can cut it open and it's just just hearts and lungs and, and innards and, 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 and infinite array of, of oddities that you can put a pin in to stick with the themes of this thing. Um, so very much recommended if that sounds like your cup of tea, if you, uh, if you dabble in litfic at all. It's not a famous book in the West, and the movie is superb. We watched the movie as well, and the movie does a great job of kind of capturing the mood, if not all of the themes of the book. It's a, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful piece of masterfully executed film. If you can find it, then, then definitely read it. I would like to start on this channel doing away with the number rating system. I think that it's kind of not something I'm that interested in doing anymore. I think my testimony should give you a clear picture of, of my feelings about it. So go find it and go read it. It's a wonderful book.